Alright, this morning we got the FW190, and this is a Hobby King plane. Picked this up used, 75 bucks. Originally got it to sell at a swap meet, however, uh, didn't have any interest in it. It's actually a lot of features in this plane for the, for the money. It's got uh, split flaps, probably can't see them on the video good, but due to where the plane's sitting, let me tilt the nose up. So yeah, it's got uh, split flaps on it. It's got retracts with sequence doors. Got uh, wingtip lights. And uh, flies on a 4S2200 battery. So let's get this out there. I flew it once when I first got it just to make sure it worked. And uh, didn't read the instructions on it. I just put a 3-cell um, 2200 in it. It's very tail heavy. So this one's got a 4S in it now, which is what it calls for. So let's give this a try. Adjust the camera here. Got Jim here to help me police up the parts when it crashes. I'll get the bag. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You got to lose. You got to get it past that spot right there. No, she's uh, having a little tough time getting going. Probably gonna have to bend them wheels forward. Let's get it out here on the actual runway. All right, try it here on the actual runway part and see if it does any better. No. All right, let's do this. Servo set up, travel. Low rate or high? I'm on high rate. Okay. All right, so that's maximum on the elevator. Put it at 150%. Mm, okay. So. Get the change over. We'll give it a kick with the foot. I got it. Okay. Wow. Gears are up. I'm gonna have to put a little trim in it. Actually a lot of trim. Still dropping the right wing. There we go. Get it back around here. I'd say that's pretty close. Maybe a couple more. Don't crash it. <laughs> I get all confused. I, I used to. Uh, yeah. uh, your your whole body. That's when you'll get in trouble. You just got to track it with your head, and if it gets out of sight because you can't tilt your head back, just that's when you when you uh, just come looking for where it should be. T28 I used to have. I don't think you ever saw me fly it. Man. I was in pieces before you met me, but uh, I did that twice. And one of them was a total rebuild. That's where I spent $110 on it. I thought, I shouldn't just bought a new one. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, I've done that many times myself. I go through now, and I try to figure out everything before I working on it. I don't mind if I got the parts out of another airplane, but when you got to spend that much, forget it. You know? Right. If you're over a half, I, I say, hey, just buy a new one. Yeah. Keep the other one back for parts. Jim, this is a great flying plane. <laughs> I can't believe this. Good. I got the uh, trim set on it pretty much now. We'll make us a low pass here in front. I'm gonna have to figure out something on the gear. Maybe uh, hog it out and bend them forward a little bit. Maybe you can trim it. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Make a high speed pass here right in front of us. And then we'll see how much vertical it's got also. Alright, there's full throttle. Going vertical. 
Still going, still going. Got to come off of it. Losing sight in my old man neck. <laughs> oh yeah. She flies great, Jim. So you glad you didn't sell it? Ah, uh, yeah. Actually, I am. If I can figure out the gears, because I really, uh, yeah, really hate that the gears didn't work. I thought about it, but I think I'm just going to go ahead and try to set it in. Let's see what happens. Yeah, because it won't even taxi. Okay, yeah. So I'll have to figure that part out, but you're right, maybe shimming it might be the right answer. But she flies so doggone nice. You know, I guess we're just hitting it right with you know, the time. The cold airplanes are really coming around. It'd be pretty good fine airplanes. Yeah, well, this is actually, I think, an old plane. Uh, it's still available. Yeah. Who makes it? Uh, Hobby King? Yeah. Yeah, she won't get, get nothing going on it. Can we pick it up? <laughs> Oh well, we'll have to shim that out.